Hello everyone, Darkovica here, and I'm taking a quick pause in our Sims 3 series that usually uploads on Wednesdays to talk about Sims 3 werewolves. <laughs> With the advent of uh, Sims 4 werewolves just, you know, coming around the corner, I thought I'd like talk about the Sims 3 werewolves and how ridiculously overpowered they were. Um, they weren't the most attractive sims in the world, uh, <laughs> the werewolves, although these sims are going to be pretty cute once they get around to waking up. This is my personal save file that I have on the side that I play uh, every once in a while, and uh, they are these two sims, I didn't initially plan for them to get married, but I didn't realize that nuzzling as a werewolf is a romantic a option, and then I just ran with it, so <laughs> that's that. Um, they have several kids that they've adopted, half of which are actually um, imaginary uh, imaginary friends that they turned into existing, you know, not existing, but like actual sims. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn these two into werewolves. I cheated up their needs just for now. I'm not gonna like save this. So one of the unfortunate things about Sims 3 werewolves was that like I don't I, I don't know if there's a way, but once they have once they're in game, you just can't fix their hairstyles anymore. I don't know if I'm just incapable of finding the ability to edit their werewolf forms, but like it's set in stone, and unfortunately, like, I didn't choose this hairstyle for her, so randomly she was just like, this is now my, my werewolf hairstyle, deal with it. <laughs> um, let's, real quick, uh, let's see, let's do, oh wait, I know, okay, I understand. We need to create a pack. It's been a hot minute since I played this, so I'm just like, what's going on? Uh, no, not funny. We need werewolf. See, nuzzle, I, I did nuzzle and then it increased their romance and I was like, oh, whoops. Okay, form pack. So in The Sims 3, you have the ability to uh, create a pack with people. So I'm going to have my two werewolves create, uh, or not create, but enter a pack together, which I think may actually turn into a, <laughs> turn into a date because they're married. All right, cool. I'm going to have this one start off. And uh, what we're going to do is, let's see if I, oh, here we go. Hunt with pack four gems. So I'm just going to do like, I'm just going to queue up a bunch of these, right? And then we're just going to let them go ham. Like we can follow them and stuff and they're going to, and it's actually pretty great when they, when they don't have the space to be able to, uh, to run around, they just automatically finish the task. See, we've already found uh, a few things. Let's see, what do we find? We found a bloodstone, which is really good. We found vampire's eye, which I don't actually think I've ever found before. We found quartz, amethyst, septarian nodule, tanzanite. Oh, three rainbow gems. That's good. Yeah, we, we've done amazing. The school bus will arrive at 8 a.m. Oops. Um, I don't think my teenagers are ready. Oh no, they're they're actually doing pretty good. I don't know why I'm doing this. This super duper does not matter. <laughs> Some of these, I think this sim is potentially going to have to go to work. I don't know when she works. Oh, I actually took them out of their career. I forgot about that. Whatever Claire is doing, you know, we don't really care. I wonder if she's found anything. She has not, but that's okay. I don't think that matters. Are they awake? Oh, Claire is... Yeah, okay. Normal effort. Work hard. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. Alright, and then the next thing I'm actually gonna have them do is hunt for... If I could have them do it. I'm gonna have them hunt just for a few medals. And then... I'll show you guys what happens after this and what makes this so ridiculously overpowered. It's insane. You might be wondering, how can this be overpowered when you only have 89,000 simoleons? Well, you know, I actually own all of the light blue businesses. I own everything. 
<laughs> I own everything that this game has allowed me to purchase. Wait, did I? Have I purchased this? Okay, I haven't purchased the gym yet. The gym is obviously next. Um, yeah, there are certain lots that I am incapable of purchasing. And I think some of them I can just outright buy. Like, okay, I can buy and build on this lot because I own it. Oops. Okay, that's not what I wanted to. Oops. The school writing club is looking for authors to join the ranks. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I'm not saving this, so that doesn't matter. Oh, I haven't bought these ones. See, I have some businesses I still need to buy, so this is perfect. We'll just, you know, use and abuse the abilities that we're going to get with this. I'm going to just boost their hunger and stuff. Let's see. What have we got going on? Okay, so we've got loads. <laughs> we have loads of stuff. All right, cool beans. Let's go ahead and bring her over to wherever the heck I put. This is important. Wherever the heck I put. So with Supernatural, one of the things I think that you get is the ability to... Oh, <laughs> it's right here. Okay, so this, I believe, comes with Supernatural. And if we come over here, we're going to... Uh, let's cut this one. Now, I'm going to be dead honest. I don't... Oh, wait, no. No, that's not right. Although, actually, this is pretty good. So we could do a sun cut. Now, a sun cut is like 600 simoleons. A heart shape cut is a thousand simoleons. I'm gonna be dead honest. I think the sun, the heart shaped cut is probably the best cut that you can do in this game. So if I come over and we do, let's do the bloodstone, and then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna do the heart shaped cut. Oh, something broke. And then we're gonna do the rainbow gem heart-shaped cut. The heart-shaped cut, I think, honestly, is the best one in the entire game. The only time that... Oh, no, actually, no, that's true for everything. Ah, Tiberium! Yes! That's... I'm so glad that we picked that up. So you'll notice that there are these two options. Always do heart-shaped cut. A heart-shaped heart cut. And Tiberium is ridiculously overpowered in this game. It's so stupid. <laughs> let's do... Ooh, let's do this soul... This soul piece... Oh, did I actually get another vampire's eye? I don't even know what that does. I'm not going to do all of them because obviously we don't want to be here for 5 billion years. Let's do a sunstone. And then we'll do this beautiful heart. And the, the great thing about the heart-shaped cut. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. The heart-shaped cut is available to you really early on. Like it's at the bottom of the list. But quite frankly, <laughs> it's it comes really early. Now this item is purchasable on the Sims 3 store, so it's not exactly as easy to get a hold of as um, um, some of the other items because you have to purchase this with a pack, or not a pack, but it's like a, it's, it's an item on the Sims 3 store, so it's a special item. And now what I'm doing is I'm actually smelting these, which I don't have to pay to get these smelted, so I'm just getting these ingots, you know, for free. It's fine. Um, we could do titanium, and then we'll just end it there. So you have seen now what we've what we've been up to. So if we let's see, these sell for I think a three hundred and ninety each. This is a supernovium, which sells for twenty nine thousand simoleons. Okay, I just found that. I just came across that in my front yard. Supernovium ingot. 29,000 simoleons. Titanium sells for 3,000. We have a mummitonium, atomium, which is 5,900. I'm so glad we picked up the other one because the other one was a very... Okay, so Tiberium. I'm pretty sure this is the one that does the thing unless I'm completely... Yeah, no, okay, it is. So here's what we're going to do with the Tiberium. Tiberium is going to get put outside and what this does is if you leave Tiberium alone for a period of time and just let it exist, right? Tiberium will eventually grow and it actually, it will grow from a heart-shaped cut and it will just get bigger and it'll eventually be worth, I think, 40,000 simoleons. It's going to take a while, so I'm probably not going to be able to show it here. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go visit your Alistair's sundries 
alchemy shop, which I can do here. We're to travel via the llama. Um... Oh my gosh. Alistair's. Yes, please. Please don't turn into a clown. Awesome. Um, I don't actually know if the shop is going to be open. Hey, Good. Good, good, good. Uh, bye. We're going to come over here. What is she wearing? I am. I promise you I haven't done that. And now we're going to consign. And we're just going to come over here and consign all of the things that we did. None of the non, um, like, smelted or cut items. Because we don't really want to do that. We want to cut them, obviously. So we're just going to scroll down and consign everything. Now, it doesn't sell right away. But what this does is it sells it for even more. Because it's consigned. And I have... A, I have special abilities that I've unlocked because I've played this for so long. So the family has, um, God, what am I thinking of? The reward points for how long you've played. Oh, when did I get this? I have a heart shape. Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was sun cut. I was like, I don't remember doing a sun cut. Titanium, mamatomium, heart shaped, soul piece, 9,000 simoleons. And then, of course, our supernovium ingot, which is ridiculous. And then we can see everything, like, if we go, yeah, the supernovium is the highest. And then eventually we'll get a 40,000 Tiberium, which you can just find in your front yard. I think the only other place to find that is, like, I don't even know. So, yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, wait, 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 don't do that. We're gonna travel home. Um, hopefully, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll play for a little bit and see if I can't get it showing how much we make from consigning everything and also how much the Tiberium is worth. <laughs> this is how I know it's mine. I called it the TARDIS. I wouldn't know it was mine if I didn't do that. The cave looming before Claire isn't nearly as intimidating as the gigantic ogre rumored to be sleeping. What? What is Claire doing? Oh, that's fine. I love how they're still technically on a date. Also, this is another really incredible item, which is the tractor super useful this this thing is not not as useful right now because all my plants are dormant but it will follow this track and you have to do it like a few times because there's a limit to how much it will do but you can fertilize everything water everything and then harvest everything and it's fantastic i hope we get an item like this in the sims 4 i don't think we will anyways um i guess i'll be right back i'm just gonna let them all do whatever the heck they want whatever Oh, I want to get this. Hopefully I remember to edit to this point. But this right here is sparking, I think. No, 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 no. You don't need to have ice cream. There it is. So that is it successfully growing. And increasing in value. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Aw, oh, Jesus. Okay, a fire has started. I don't even know where the fire is. Okay, I found it. Uh, I think she... Oh, oh, there goes Bonehilda. Bonehilda is saving, saving my friar. Who left their clothes in front of this? And why? Talk about... How did this set on fire? I didn't even know that was a... Alright, she's gonna go have ice cream. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'll just... Continue. Oh, I lost something from the fire? A fire started. Claire won't forget. No one's gonna forget the fire. I'll be reminded about it, even though Elena wasn't even there. <laughs> oh my god. The firefighter showed up. Don't worry, my, my undead maid saved us all by putting the fire out herself. Repo man. Oops. Oh. The repo man is now flirting with us. I must have. I apparently forgot to pay some of my bills. So what is this repo person? You're taking my shower? What the heck? Oh my god, they're gonna take so much stuff. This is gonna be so annoying. Aha. Okay, here we go. It finally happened. So. 
I didn't sell everything that I created, but it says I sold items worth 120,383 simoleons. You've been charged one simoleon in consignment fees. Here's a summary of some of your top selling items today. Supernovium, which sold for 57,000. Um, Heart-shaped cut soul piece, which is 19,000. And titanium ingot for 7,000. So if we remember, if I had sold this straight out of my inventory, this was about 29,000 simoleons. And what I've been talking about earlier um, in my lifetime happiness, as you can see, I've played this family quite extensively. I have um, somewhere in here, I don't think it's artisan crafter. I th oh, here it is. It's suave sellers. Suave sellers are able to sell their goods for a higher price at local stores and the consignment store. So literally, I sold three three items and made 120,000 and I consigned even more after I stopped talking and, and actively recording so she's just going to make an insane amount of uh, simoleons and actually what we can do also which is really easy to do with werewolves is basically make everything like I can make zombification right now and the main reason for this is that she can go out and hunt literally everything and the fact that I make a ridiculous amount of money too means that I can buy just about every single one of these um any any materials that I need I can probably just go buy it or I can just straight up find it <laughs> so like uh take a sip and settle down for a rest to gain a quick skill boost okay lean and mean get fit and trim without hitting the gym oh my god that's great Zombification, of course. Get a brief craving for brains by temporarily turning into a zombie. Is it temporary? I don't want it to be temporary. Magical uh, uh, afflictions vanish without affecting supernatural powers. So it's pretty easy when you're a werewolf to be able to even do this. Like most of the things I'm missing are super easy to get. But anything that would typically be really difficult to get is now stupid easy <laughs> to get a hold of so yeah anyways that's why vampires are over or vampires that's why werewolves are overpowered um and uh yeah there you go <laughs> thanks for watching bye